Hey there everyone and welcome to another Factorio Mod Spotlight. I'm Exterminator and thank you so much for joining me today. And in this spotlight we are going to be covering the Automatic Train Repair Mod. Uh, this one is about six months old uh, but I think it deserves some more attention uh, if it works uh, as it should. Um, so what this does is this, this makes repairing any trains that get damaged uh, significantly easier. Uh, so I have a train here that I've m almost killed the cargo wagon on just to make sure I can actually finish killing it in time here. Um, and what the mod will do is basically whenever part of a train, a, a locomotive or a wagon, basically any rolling stock uh, gets destroyed, um, it'll like immediately stop the train and then create a ghost of the thing that was destroyed and, it's, and it will also retain the properties of uh, of the thing that was destroyed in that ghost. So, uh, for example, I've set in this uh, filters. Um, when I destroy this, it should automatically stop the train. I don't know if it's going to stop this locomotive. This will be a fun test. I kind of feel like it won't, but we'll see. Um, and then it should retain these filters as well. Um, I'm actually going to take this off just for demonstration purposes. Um, and then it will retain these. And once it's rebuilt, the train will automatically take off and go on its way. Um, whereas in vanilla, if you like if a train gets destroyed by, you know, something else like uh, another train or something, um, it will kind of just continue going and then you may lose it and it's pain to rebuild, you have to reset it, etc. So um, what we're going to do is I'm going to have it, uh, I'm going to set a temporary stop over here to go and then I'm going to, uh, I'm going to maybe destroy that a little more and then we're going to do this and you can see um, it stopped right away. You can see a little um, indicator there and it's now placed a ghost. Obviously, it didn't get very far, but you can see that it did immediately stop um, instead of continuing to roll, and it's now placed this ghost here. Uh, if we go ahead and take a cargo wagon, um, now, if I just place this on top, I don't know if it will work or not, um, but you can see that it does, um, just like a normal ghost should. And it retained all the stuff in here so you don't have to reset it, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, now, uh, if we go ahead and let's just do this, let's place one here. And I'm going to damage this a little bit, and then we're going to do the same thing. Um, kill the locomotive, it automatically stops. Drops fuel on the ground, because obviously there's fuel in there. Um, or rather, it's actually just marking that as the fuel that's in there. Um, and then it creates a ghost. So then, if we place this back down, um, you can see that it is attempting to refuel it with the fuel that was in there. Which is super cool. Um, and if... For example, there were like two locomotives or something. Um, well, if it had fuel, actually, it should just continue on its way. So if I just place fuel in here, um, well, it's now manual. But like I said, if there were two locomotives, there was still something to like still power this. It would take off and go on its way, um, which is really nice. Uh, now, there are also settings in here uh, which could be impacting some of this as well. So if we take a look at the mod settings... Um, so there's create alerts, which was the thing that popped up down there. And then in the map thing... Um, so this, okay, so this is why it didn't automatically take off. By default, this option is off. Um, if you want to turn it on, um, then you can check this. So trains will be set to automatic mode again as soon as all entity ghosts were built. Warning, this doesn't work properly if multiple wagons of the same train get destroyed. Um, so that's just something to note. Uh, if just when you turn this on or off, something to keep note of there, it's off by default. Um, create item requests for destroyed um, equipment, which we would want to do probably. Create item requests for fuel. Uh, name of the fuel that should be requested. If left empty, destroyed fuel will be requested. Um, or you could just preset it. How much of the fuel should be requested? One, you could change this as well. Personally, I would probably bump it up a little higher. Um, but there we go. So if we if we do go actually back into here, I'm not sure if it will apply since I already like rebuilt that. But um, yeah, so, so this one it didn't fully uh, reapply. What we'll do here is destroy this again. It creates a ghost again, and theoretically, um, that should work now once we refuel it again. Um, it, it seems that it would need to be on a new train. So um, that that option, if you do enable it right off the bat, though, then the train should continue on its way. Um, as you can see, and if I just destroy that, you can see it stops in its tracks again. If I replace it, um, it is good to go. 
So there we go. That's the mod. I think it's really nice because, you know, sometimes if we have accidents or something, um, or just in any case when a train gets destroyed, especially the cargo wagons, it's kind of a pain to be uh, like refiltering them and setting them up and all that. So this this really helps with that. Um, I think it's most effective for the cargo wagons for sure. Um, and there you go, folks. There's the mod. A uh, link in the description to the mod portal where you can check this out if you would like. Um, there's obviously no technology for this uh, as far as I'm aware. It's just a native thing with trains uh, with the mod. If you have any questions or thoughts, leave them down below in the comments. Uh, if you did enjoy, a like is appreciated. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe and turn on notifications to keep up with all future content. And until next time, I look forward to seeing you all and do take care.